All right, tech fans, as we close out our Computex 2019 videos, today's video is on what Intel announced. And I got to be honest with you, I think with everything else going on, especially with AMD, that both NVIDIA and the Intel launch are both kind of eh, just kind of ho-hum at this point. But hey, let's check out what they launched and what they said in any case. So this time, Intel's launching their ninth generation Intel Core vPro mobile and desktop processors. Now, the vPro is a purpose-built platform designed for professional enterprises. Intel showed off ninth generation vPro in some laptops and even in a couple of monitors. Eh. Intel also announced 14 new Xeon E processors for entry-level desktops and mobile workstations. And that's kind of interesting in itself because usually we only see Intel using their Xeon processors pretty much in the server side of things. And to see the Xeon processors now for desktops and for mobile workstations, this could actually prove to actually be interesting. Now these CPUs are going to feature 8 cores, 16 threads, 5 gigahertz single core turbo frequency. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever ran the Windows system test, but if you do overclocking, you'll notice that when your CPU gets over five gigahertz, you actually get quite a bit more performance. So I'm wondering, now that Intel's gonna actually have a CPU that's base cores at five gigahertz at a single core turbo frequency, that's gonna be kind of interesting to see exactly how that pans out. Now, this system's also gonna support native Optane memory, and these next generation X series processors are supposed to come out this fall. Now, Intel also showed off a couple of desktop systems with the new X series processors, as well as the new ASUS ZenBook, a laptop that has two screens for more productivity. Laptops are traditionally supposed to be pretty light, so having two screens is either going to be really, really heavy or some really small screens. Alienware also announced their new M15 and M17 thin and light laptops with ninth generation Intel Core processors. Now these things are being touted as the fastest, thinnest, and lightest notebooks in the world. 20.5 millimeters thin and under five pounds. Up to a 240 hertz display, 144 hertz options with an OLED display. Now those are some seriously badass laptops. Intel also announced the i9-9900KS processor, the world's fastest gaming processor at 5 GHz with all turbo cores right out of the box. Now that is something that I do think is pretty exciting. Even though AMD you know, released a lot of new stuff, none of it was touching on 5 GHz. So this should really be something cool for Intel. Intel had a gamer named Dr. Lupo show off the new processor in a new Fortnite demo on a laptop, which looked pretty good actually. And they also demoed a 3D studio for streamers with various backgrounds and effects they could use in real time. Now this badass processor will be available in fall of quarter four of this year. Unfortunately though, Intel did not release any prices about this particular CPU, but with AMD having a $500 CPU that looks pretty damn good, the competition is going to be really strict at the end of 2019. Intel also announced that they'll be releasing Intel's Performance Maximizer, an intelligent and automated overclocking tool, which will be available in June for absolutely free. Now, according to Intel, this overclocking tool examines the DNA of your processor and tests every core, automatically setting the most optimal speed to run your CPU, one-click overclocking. Honestly, it sounds too easy, but let's see if it works. Intel also gave an update on Project Athena, which was first announced in the last CES. This is pretty much a vision for new advanced laptops. Someday they may see the light. They did, however, release the Athena 1.0 specification, basically an expectation list for various categories like performance, AI, battery life, and more for next generation laptops, which are being dreamed up in some lab as we speak. Lenovo also showed off the Yoga S940 laptop using Athena 1.0 specs. Yoga. That's a weird name for a thing. Yoga? It sounds like Yogi Bear. Anyways, it's thin, it's super light, and it'll actually be available this holiday season. So maybe you can get one for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Intel also launched their 10th generation Ice Lake processors. 11 new 10 nanometer Ice Lake SKUs from Core i3 all the way to Core i7 with new CPU architecture and new generation 11 graphics engine built inside of them. 
Intel also showed off a couple of laptops with Gen 11 graphics. From content creating and gaming to Super Res, which uses AI to fix resolution in videos and photos and can de-blur a photo in just one click. All this new stuff actually sounds really cool. However, a lot of it doesn't have a release date yet, but that pretty much wraps it up for what Intel released this year at Computex 2019. Personally, I thought it was kind of a ho-hum thing. I mean, the CPU that's going to be five gigahertz, that's pretty doggone cool, but everything else just seems kind of like, yeah, 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 but we'll have to see what happens. And plus it's all not coming until the end of the year anyway. So we've got a little while to wait. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. For more information, like always, we will have links down below. If you like what you saw, hey, subscribe, and also hit that notification button so you get notified that we have new videos. If you wanna support us, we have a Patreon site, we also have Instagram, we have Facebook, all the social media, all that good garbage. So if you wanna follow us any of those places, we're always having giveaways. I'm Elric, we'll see you guys back on here for more tech on Tech of Tomorrow.